<laughs> like on paper, Omar versus Rosa. What is, wa- we'll see because my my is. Rosa, but... Myron ain't no typical astronaut. My man, my yeah. man's my man works at NASA. This guy's going straight to the moon. He's going straight to the moon, dude. <laughs> Got young balls, Buzz Aldrin in the cut. <laughs> yeah, I don't. All his game talk stocks. <laughs> I'd be lying right through my teeth if I said if I've ever seen this matchup ever before. I, I'm, I feel like I'm you watching. Never saw the Buzz versus the Buzz. <laughs> <laughs> Two sides of the Buzz coin being displayed right in front of me. <sighs> Olimar, lethal punish game, you know, gets one smash attack, gets many more strings off of that, has incredible resources in terms of his Pikmin. They all have very different functionalities, some better than others, but all of them with a utility in mind for sure. Rosa, I feel like kind of underrated. I feel like people discredit I, her a lot. So, I playing with, well, playing with the buzz a good amount. Mm -hmm. I think Rosa is kind of high tier. She's pretty good. She, I she's think she's a really bad. good character. Really good. I think just because people are like, oh, she's not as good as she was in 4, kind of write her off a little bit. Yeah, but I don't think, I think it's really hard to play her in the online environment. Oh, yeah. Because she has a lot of, like, skill. Yo, that oh. killed. Where was the DI? I know it, it, was, it was towards the left. <laughs> ledge, but that was an Olimar at 60. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yo, Luma, Luma be packing bricks. <laughs> you're, you're Luma, call me Myron, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm expecting to see more gravitational pulls. You can grab pull the Pikmin, yeah? Yes. Okay. Yeah, so yeah that should be a strong right factor for sure. Uh, also using, I, I love already the fact that Pierre is using Nair to shake the Pikmin off of him. That's a fantastic hitbox to do so because it's a big circle. And it kills them in like one Nair from what it looks like. Yeah, too, so you don't they're, have to they're fairly weak. Yeah. The only one that has like a substantial like HP is purple. They're like little vegetable dudes, so yeah, they'd yeah. probably be pretty weak. It's like snapping a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Oh, that was a just... fantastic chase by Myron. Really good resource usage right there by using the up because yeah, you can you can use an aerial out of it. That was a fantastic chase right there. Yeah, I know. It definitely is. And you can also tell like the HP amount on like the pigment on like the flower sprouting from them. So if you play like close attention, mm. they're like about to die if the, you see the flower. Oh, so wow. if you look at the purple, it's like almost about to die. That's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's good to know if you're an opponent. <laughs> Myron, though, doing a good job of like not staying like very linear with his game plan. Like he's mixing in throwing Pikmin and also using like aerials aggressively to kind of either whiff punish or charge in or, or catch a gap in Pierre's gameplay. And I feel like that's like that's super important against a character like Rosa who can suck your resources away from you with like grab pull. Yeah, no, I feel like you need to be really good at doing those types of things if you're fighting against Rosa or just playing like Olimar in general. I also like to note that there are two, Myron has two purples on deck, so he's slated to, he's got his win condition all set yeah. up, so he is yeah. slated to slated to win this game if he yeah. can nail like one good hit, because Rosa's pretty late. He got that sister-sister action. <laughs> Tia Tamara. <laughs> Tia Tamara. <laughs> Oh man, yeah, and then the good the good thing about the purples in comparison to the rest of the Pikmin is that they do knock you down. So yeah. you can use them to cover your recovery. That's you can nice. use them to do whatever. That is very yeah. unfortunate from uh, from Pierre right there. Though Myron gonna be taking it pretty pretty convincingly. Yeah, it was pretty even like towards the second stock, but the second um, Pierre lost that second one, it just started being snowballed. Mm -hmm. And the, the two purple Pikmin, like the, that's that's you're basically knocking on Death's door uh, at that point. I don't know what happened. Oh, did he try to grab pull or something? I, I feel point? like he tried to stall. Yeah. 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 Or no. He okay. He was trying to call Luma back or something. That was like a neutral B, I think. Yeah, it looked like a neutral B. It felt like a stall, but they Pierre didn't know how deep mm -hmm. to go. They can go. I feel like Myron also did a fantastic job of just getting rid of uh, the Pikmin. Oh my gosh. No, that DI was, <laughs> that was a bad DI. Yeah, let's, let's see the initial DI. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, it's towards the left. Oh man. It's <laughs> Yo, Luma with the fat right hook. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh poor Olimar. <laughs> I love Olimar, Luma's I think, skull. canonically, is like the size of like. He's like smaller He's than the like size a double of a He's just smaller than like a double A battery, so like you can just step on him. <laughs> He's the size of a penny, man. It's... Rose is like six foot or something. She's, She's, like, ten. She's like ten feet. <laughs> that, that was just such a good chase right here. Catching the high recovery right there. Honestly, I don't know why 
Pierre chose to go that high there because Rose is pretty big and floaty, so her double jump Probably is like... to escape the pressure. When you like panic, that's you, true. You, you, do, you do dumb things. Yeah. Because like, I don't, th I feel like Pierre didn't get two framed once yet, though. Like, no. and I, I know, Ro I know, Rose's recovery can get two frame pretty reliably, but you know, because has no hitbox on it, but still, like, you can. Uh, another tech I've seen a lot. Uh, from Roses with Luma out, it's just lun Lunar Landing. They'll overshoot ledge and then just use Luma to cover their landing if they have Luma out. Yeah, that's a really broken type of problem. And great whistle right there from Iron to just escape that combo. Ooh, okay. My I love how Myron is choosing to initiate his approaches with the purple because he can either knock Luma away or get a guaranteed knockdown on uh, Pierre. And that's, I think, super important because the rest of the Pikmin will not have enough, you know, they can't really get rid of Luma because the Pikmin don't really attach to Luma. Yeah, no, it is no way they, they attach. It just <laughs> sends it. Oh, my God. Luma. Luma. <laughs> out of here. Now, 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 um, now Pierre just kind of has to play, you know, I, I, you know, just play very safely, wait for Luma to come back, and that's another SD from Pierre right there. That's so tragic. That's what you don't want to see happen. Unfortunate. Or maybe he was conditioning to get Luma back sooner. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, good chase right there. All right, this is good. Yeah, keep the aggression on. Don't fade away just because Luma's not there, you know? Rosa still has some pretty good normals. Forward air being probably her best one. Nair also really, really good. Uh, Nair, I think Nair is probably her best one. Oh, on stage, also we're, not yeah. seeing a lot, also, we're not seeing a lot of back airs. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's true. We're not seeing like a lot of spacing using Luma as like a, an offensive tool, more so just as like a mid-range lock-in-place tool. And I feel like... I don't know, I feel, I feel, I feel like you gotta kind of do something there. Also, I've not I've noticed that Pierre has not boost grabbed like once. Yeah, no, on, uh, there's, there's a lack of boost. And that here. is one of the best things Rosa can do is boost grabbing, or, yeah, or just grabbing in general, because because she's able to put on attack with Luma mm -hmm. while she does it. <laughs> Got Goblin has described getting boost grabbed by Rosalina as cringe, so I know that move is good. <laughs> 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 Ooh, okay, good sweep. Yeah, missed a combo right there. This yeah, able to do tough, that though. into an up smash. Now we've got two purples on deck once again, so big damage is going to be applied. Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting for the triple purple. Oh, I want man. the full Destiny Child collection. The full Destiny Child collection. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> and that okay. Oh, uh, no. Red Pikmin showing the mixtape off real quick. Another SD, and it's going to... R.I.P. Pierre. Nope. R.I.P. Pierre. <laughs> <laughs> Except the door's closing this time. <laughs> 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 the amount of turmoil all Mars had to go through i feel like he's a battle-hardened veteran at this point i feel he's, like all the other some stuff <laughs> like you got mario jumping off goombas like in, in like in rosalina like in her little observatory with like cotton candy galaxies and, and the the bee world and then you got all Mars fighting for his Fighting for his life every day, bro. <laughs> it's like I don't, I don't have enough to fuel on this ship to get to another planet. He's gotta collect like double A batteries to make co enough coin to feed his family. And, like, and meanwhile, help he's, me. he's like he help eaten me. alive at any moment. <laughs> Almost a trooper. Dude. His boy Alf is just, it's just skedaddling. I, I was, I was just gooning out somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> 